Hi guys, welcome to Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to access the static variable and the static method outside the class. If you will observe this program that we have discussed in the previous Java session, where we have created a single class that is car inventory, we have added some static, non-static, static block and static methods. And inside a main method, we have accessed the static method without creating the object of a class because the static is not the part of an object. Static field, static data, static methods are the part of a whole class. So here you can see. So in this session, you will learn, we will create a separate class and we will access this static data outside the class. So how to access it? Let me just create a new class here. That is a class that is car demo. This is a class car demo I have created and I will just remove this content from the car inventory so i will just control x i will cut and paste here to make it easy right so i will remove this instance variable it is not required here and okay this is a variable this is a block is good this is a add car is good right okay and this is a car inventory right and you can see here this is a class this is a class that is a car demo it has some static data some block static some method is static and here you can see now outside the class the add car you will not be able to access it and as you know the add car is a static method and it is not the part of an object so how will you access the static method or the static variable outside the class. So the way to access the static data and static variable outside the class, you can directly access with the name of class name. So how will you access it? Let me just display a simple statement here. So this part I will write here system dot out dot print I am just printing something and inside it I am just printing initial car count so initial car count or if i would like to display this car count so how will i access this variable so this variable is a static variable and just i'm trying to access this static variable outside the class car demo so how will you access it so you can access directly with the name of class so static data static variable can be directly accessed with the name of class so you can see whenever you will write car demo dot so you can see the car count is visible and you can write it so whenever you will run this program you will see the output it will display so first your static block will be in slice it will display in slicing inventory and in the main method you can see it will display initial car count is 10. So what is it? So car count is a global variable. All object of the class will share the same copy of it. Means it is not the part of it. Right? The single value for all the objects. So it is a part of a class. This is the class variable. This is known as a class variable and sometimes known as a global variable. That can be directly accessed using the class name. So how it will work when the JVM will just load this program first time. So initially the first job of the JVM is to initialize all the static block. So first it will initialize the static block this part and it will display the output that is initializing inventory and it will initialize the static variable car count is 10. Now after that it will come to this point. And it will display initial car count is equal car demo dot car count that you are accessing. So car count is a static variable that can be directly accessed using the car demo class. So now this is the way how to access the static variable outside the class. 
Now, how to access accessing static method, right? How to access the static method outside the class? So, in the, this is the same way you will use the class name dot. You can see your method name is present here. So, car demo dot add car. So, you will save your program, you will run it, and here you can see initial what is output initializing inventory initial car count was 10 now you have added one car and it is showing inventory count is 11 so if you would like to add more functionality inside this method you can add one more method that is static that is static void remove car right you can write the remove car method that will help you to remove the car you can apply some statement if condition like car count is greater than zero so you can just display the car count minus minus right and you can display message this one the message i'm just making some copy to make it fast so you can just display car removed, right? Car removed, total cars you can display here, inventory count you can display, right? Else, you can write some code inside else. That is, inside it, you can just add some content like no car to remove. You can write no part to remove so this part you can write just i'm just adding some functionality inside it so this is again a static method okay so if you would like to remove some car from the inventory you can call this method so how will you call it car demo dot remove car and you can see that your car will be removed it will display message car removed and it will display the present inventory count you will run it and you will show you can see here the inventory present inventory count is you know this is a 10 right so this is the way you can add multiple functionality inside the car inside the classes so what we have done so far we have created a class that is a car demo that has some static data static block that will help us to initialize the static variable this is a static method that will add the car in the inventory this is the static method that will remove the car from the inventory and this is a separate class so if you would like to utilize this data outside the class so how will you use and utilize this data so this is a car inventory that is a driver class so static data can be directly accessed using a class name that is a variable and the method so what is about the static in the previous video also i discussed the static or again i'm just saying the static data is used static variable is used to make your data is global the second inside the static block you can't access the non-static data and i can show you again right for example int the year is equal 2024 this variable you have defined that is non-static instance variable and here inside the static block if you would like to access this year here right you will not be able to access it this is non-static data but if you would like to access this non-static data inside the static block you can create an object of the class that is car demo that is object is equal new car demo and using the object that is obj car demo dot year then you can access this data this is the way to access the non-static non-static data inside the static block right and this is the way to access the static members outside the class so this is all about the static within a single class we have done in the previous video also and how to access the static variable in the new class so i hope you understand this video the concept you understand 
and you enjoy this video thank you uh, we'll see in the next video we'll come with the next video in the next session you can see the code complete this is a car demo class and this is the car inventory class thank you bye bye good night for now